Hello boys and girls, I'm Deputy Mark Fair with the Guernsey County Sheriff's Office. Today I'm going to be reading you a book on campus with Cornelius. I'm reading this book in honor of 4-H week in Guernsey County. 4-H week is celebrated February 27th through March 5th. Also this year, 2022, 4-H in Guernsey County is celebrating 100 years. On Campus with Cornelius Once upon a time, in a forest not too far away, lived a hedgehog named Cornelius. He often wandered out to the edge of the forest to watch people. One day he decided to see where everyone was going. A bicycle rider saw him standing by the bike trail. The rider noticed him, picked him up, and placed him in his backpack. Cornelius thought, it would be good to be his friend. What a great adventure. The bicycle rider pedaled very fast to a place with big buildings. Cornelius heard him say to a friend that he was excited about his first day on a college campus. Cornelius got very excited too. Not long ago, he had heard people hiking in the forest talk about college. The next thing Cornelius knew, he was being carried in the backpack up a flight of stairs. He peered out of the backpack to see many students seated at desks. Cornelius heard someone speak to the students. She said, Welcome to the first day of biology class. I am Professor Sniggle. The students became very quiet as Professor, Sni as Professor Sniggle began to tell them interesting things about different animals. Cornelius listened for a while and realized he enjoyed learning. He was glad Chris, the bicyclist, took him to another class so he could learn even more. The buildings at college were very big and made of brick. Many students were on campus. They were wearing their backpacks, carrying their textbooks, and having a great time learning. Chris took Cornelius to three different classes where they learned about math, science, and making their community a better place to live. When classes were over, Chris was hungry. He went to a large room with lots of tables and many different kinds of food. This place is called a cafeteria or dining hall. After eating, Chris returned to the dormitory. Cornelius learned that a dormitory or dorm is where Chris lived. After a while, Chris's roommate returned to the dorm. He and Chris talked about their day. They talked about what they had learned in class and the tests or exams they would take later in the year. Cornelius thought the college campus was a pretty neat place to visit. He decided to stay a few more days and learn as much as he could. During the week, Chris and his roommate studied after they came home from their classes. On Friday night, they met some, they met some friends and went to see a movie. On Saturday morning, they slept in very late. Cornelius decided that maybe it was time for him to return to the forest. He scampered outside the dorm onto the college campus. Should he go north, south, east, or west to get back to the big forest? He decided to go north, passing the volleyball and basketball courts where he had seen students playing. He traveled very quickly as the rain began to fall. Just at the edge of campus, Cornelius saw the forest. He ran quickly into the forest where he joined his family. What an adventure he had to tell them. He decided he would return to the college campus someday, perhaps to see Chris when he graduated in four years with a bachelor's degree. At the end of the book here, they have five questions listed, and I'm going to uh, read those out to you. And these are questions that you can have your parents ask you, and, and maybe uh, they'd be interested to see what your answers are. First question is, what do you think you could learn at college? Second question is, what do you think students do when they go to college? Third question is, would you like to try different kinds of food? Fourth question is, can you think of a college near you? And the fifth question is, what would you like to study? So maybe those are questions that your parents can ask you and they'd be curious to know what your answers are. On the back of the book is the 4-H pledge, and I'm going to read this pledge to you. It says, I pledge my head to clearer thinking, my heart to greater loyalty, my hands to larger service, and my health to better living for my club, my community, my country, 
and my world. 4-H is a valuable thing that youth in our community are a part of. It teaches them life lessons that they learn uh, not only to use uh, going to college, but also in their adult world. Uh, below is the information if you are uh, interested in joining 4-H for the OSU Extension Office here in Guernsey County. That information is below. So if you're interested in uh, learning on what it takes to join or the age requirements, see the information below and they'll be able to assist you. I thank you for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed this time as much as I have. Thanks and have a good day. It's story time with Jeffrey Payne.